Welcome back YouTube fans. This is a review of figure number 375 from Figma series. It's Ku Cullen, who has been in many of the Fate Stay Night brands. Fate Stay Night, of course, but also Fate Grand Order, Fate Extra, and several other ones. Now, this particular version of him is from Fate Stay Night and the initial design he has in Fate Grand Order. But, as you can see, pretty standard Figma boxing. So, let's get on to the figure. Now, Ku Cullen here is from the Ulster cycle, which is as I understand it, now I could be wrong about this, but basically it was an oral tradition that was of a great hero, the Hound of Ulster, who is Ku Cullen. He got the name after he slew a hunting or guard dog of a friend of his father's. And he took its place, becoming the Hound of Ulster. The dog was basically the equivalent of a small bear or other such creature. Now, Ku here is one of my favorite characters, and I've even met his voice actor. He has a legend in Irish folklore which is pretty much on par with characters like Hercules in Greece or other places. It's a shame he's actually not more well-known outside of Ireland. Granted, some people do know of him, but he isn't to the same extent like King Arthur or any of the other characters in Fate's Day Night are known, which is disappointing because he actually has a fairly interesting history. He went being the son of a demigod, as I understand, he went to the Land of Shadows to retrieve training from Sahak. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. It's kind of difficult to say. Basically, the queen of the Land of Shadows and soon learned all of her martial combat and helped her defeat her rival. In gratitude, she gave him an, her enchanted spear, Gay Bolg. Now, Gay Bulg is a unique weapon in Fate Stay Night. In the legend, it's just a very powerful red barbed spear that's meant for throwing. So that when you throw it at your target, when they try and yank it out, it rips and tears. But in Fate Stay Night, it will always pierce the heart of your enemy. Meaning that it reverses the cause and effect relationship. Basically, when you throw the spear, that is the effect of it piercing the heart. It's kind of weird to explain it, but basically, it will always hit no matter what, unless the target is extremely lucky. That is the only thing that can even deflect the spear from striking a fatal injury. It still does a massive amount of damage, though. So, it's not something easy to avoid. It can be stopped also by some barriers, like for example, the Roe Iris of Archer, Shiroemia. But other than that, he's very powerful for a Lancer class servant. He can be summoned as a caster, which he doesn't like, and as a berserker, which relates some of his other legends, including one that he could move as if he teleported, and his hair was so spiky that if he stood under an apple tree, no apple could be shaken off it and not be impaled by his hair. He's kind of like what Super Saiyans are in Dragon Ball Z in that, which actually makes me curious if he was in some way part of that legend as the spiky hair, the ability to move by, as if teleporting. It all sounds very similar to Goku from Dragon Ball Z. So, if any of you are Dragon Ball Z fans, you should consider this guy like the Irish equivalent of Goku. If that helps you get an idea of just how strong this character is. Overall, if you have the time, I recommend checking out the Ulster Myth story, I found it really interesting. There's a whole bunch of other characters who also show up in the fake Grand Order and 
other Fate Stay Night properties, so it's definitely worth taking a look. Plus, Irish history is something that I never got a lot of exposure to as a child, and feel that it would have been more interesting if I had been able to learn about this when I was younger. At any rate, let's get to the figure, as I've now finished unboxing it all. Now, as you can see, it's your standard Figma. Pretty good posabilities, though I'm not too happy about this one hip joint. It keeps popping out on me so far. I might just not have it in far enough. But as you can see here, pretty good flexibility in the legs and arms. The shoulders are a little funny, but that's probably due to these armor pieces. There's not much they can do. As many of the characters in Fate Stay Night wear skin-tight body suits like this, it's a little tricky to portray that right. Now, he's got a pivot joint on his old ponytail here. So, yeah, it's pretty accurate to the series. There's the stand, of course, but he also has three different faces. A winking one one of him screaming, and one of him with a slightly pissed off face. He's also got a fair number of hands on hand, including some with different angles for holding the spear, which I quite like, because that's one thing I've been a little disappointed with in recent Figmas, is the lack of good hands. But as you can see, there's a good variety here. Now, it also comes with the extra wrist joint, of course, but let's get to the spear gable. Now, the end of it comes off here, so it's pretty easy for you to um, slide it into one of the hands, which is a good thing. If you have to bend these hands, it's not going to be easy. The one issue I would have, though, is these hands are that wide, and there's a lot of little indentations along the grip, so you might want to roll it a little to get it through. Now, you should note also the top of it is ridged and barbed as part of the legend was. As I said, the original description for Gabolg was it was a very large barbed spear. So when the enemy tried to remove it, it would rip and tear. Give me just a moment. Now, there is another version of Gay Bold coming out with Sahak, which is another Figma, which will be released a little later this year, and I am going to get that, so when it comes out, we can see the differences. Ironically, in her Noble Phantasm in the game, she wields both her version and Ku Cullen's, so that's something. But Ku here usually holds his weapon in a very casual pose, having it draped over his shoulder and such. He's a very laid-back servant. So, you can get him into poses like this and such. And, yeah, I kind of like this kind of a pose for him. Just kind of laid-back, spear over one shoulder, just casually walking along. I think that suits him. Overall, the posability of this figure seems pretty good, and I do like it. Plus... I just really like the fact that it's an Irish folk hero that's being shown off here. That was one of the things I really liked about Fate Stay Night was the original seven servants, eight counting Gilgamesh and nine counting True Assassin, uh, revolved around quite a few different cultures. There's, of course, King Arthur. That's one. Shiro is the character of the game, so he's the archer. Lancer here is Irish. Castor is Greek, because it's Medea, as is Berserker, Hercules. Then there's Ryder, who's Medusa, again Greek. But then there's the assassin, which is a Japanese fictional hero, so he doesn't have an actual name. He's a fictional character. I can never say it pronounced correctly. But then we have Gilgamesh, who is basically Middle Eastern. And then, of course, Trisassin is, and I can never say this correctly, so I'm just going to say what it means, the Old Man of the Mountain, one of a line of assassins, each one being given the title the Old Man of the Mountain, who was a 
long-running series of different assassins. They've actually got four of them in the Fake Grand Order game. Three of them are currently available, one's coming out later this year. But that's something else I really like about this. You get to see all these fictional characters fight against each other or with one another, and it's really kind of cool. But anyway, as you can see here, Ku's pretty good, and he's got a lot of posability. His feet even move right here, as you can see. So, this one's definitely worth picking up, especially if you're a fan of the Fate franchise, because with this one, we now have two different versions of Saber in her original form, Archer, Lancer, and Rider. All we need now is Assassin, Caster, and Berserker, and we'll have all of the original Seven Servants. We also have Gilgamesh, of course, but he's an extra. So all we need now is Assassin, Berserker, and Caster, and that'll complete the original Fate Stay Night 7. So I'm really looking forward and hoping that they decide to do that. They're characters in Grand Order, and they're moderately popular, so I'm kind of hoping for the best here. Overall, if you like Fate Stay Night or you like Irish history, this might be a good figure to pick up. At any rate, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video, and check me out on Twitter, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!